the network analysis uh, previous question paper for uh, how two marks and 10 marks questions how to answer and from different chapters what are the two marks and 10 marks questions important how they will ask you will see the network analysis may 2019 question paper it is may 2019 question paper this is the network analysis question paper you can see here Determine the voltage drop across 10 ohms resistor, 10 ohm resistor for the circuit shown below by using voltage to current source conversion, the unit one, you can solve it. State maximum power transfer theorem. You can also solve the maximum power transfer theorem. Definition, the maximum power will be transferred from source to load when load resistance equal to source resistance or low resistance equal to Thevenin's equivalent voltage source resistance. That is maximum power transfer theorem. From theorems, one or two questions will come. Source conversion. Next is, this is the different topic. What is the difference between RL and RC transient circuits? That is unit two, transients AC and DC. And third chapter, AC circuits. If theta is 45 degrees, what is the power factor? First of all, power factor in the sense cos phi, cos theta or cos phi. If theta is 45 degrees, what is the power factor? Power factor is defined as, what is power factor? The power factor is defined as cosine of the angle, that is cos, cosine of the angle between voltage and current or cos, cos of theta, power factor will calculate or cos phi equal to r by z also from the impedance triangle from the impedance triangle cos phi equal to r by z also similar way what is the instantaneous power and average power you can see here instantaneous power and average power the instantaneous power and average power what is power you know that power is the product of voltage and current in dc circuits but instantaneous power in AC circuits and average power, real power, reactive power, all these are different powers in case of uh, AC circuits. Instantaneous power means instantaneous values of voltage and current we have to consider. Instantaneous values of voltage and current. Instantaneous values of voltage and current at particular instant, it's called instantaneous power. Power is the product of voltage and current. We have to remember that power is the product of voltage and current. Instantaneous power is the product of voltage and current at that instant of time. You know that in V3W you studied that instantaneous values, average values, RMS value, all you studied. Similarly, the instantaneous power is defined as the product of voltage and current at particular instant. The instant power P measured in watts, instantaneous power may be positive or negative because it is a negative cycle, positive cycle will come. Next is average power. What is the average power? You can see here. The average power is defined as the average of instantaneous power over one cycle. The power is average over a one cycle. One cycle is 2 pi. 0 to pi is off cycle. 2 pi, 1 by 2 pi, integral 0 to 2 pi, P dWt or P dt. Instantaneous value, instantaneous power is average. The average power is defined as the average of instantaneous power over one cycle. One cycle in the sense, you know that one cycle in the sense 180 degrees. Half cycle is 180 degrees. Pi, negative cycle also it is 2 pi. Over this cycle, if you average it, it is the average power. We are seeing the network analysis question paper. What are the important questions that they asked? from each chapter. After that, we go for unit three. It is very easy to get 10 out of 10 marks from unit three. You can see here, these are the define instantaneous power, average power, determine the resonant frequency for the circuit shown below. Define the resonance frequency for the circuit shown below. How to find frequency, resonance frequency, RLC series circuit, resonance frequency, FR equal to 1 by 2 pi LC. 1 by 2 pi LC if you do. R is given, L is given. 
but we have to consider 10 into 10 power minus 6. Milli Hindis means 10 power minus 3 we have to consider. After that, 1 by 2 pi square root of LC. In resonance, series resonance, 1 by 2 pi resonance frequency is given by 1 by 2 pi square root of L and C that is equal to FR. This is fourth unit. That is resonance frequency and couple circuits. Next, another important question is concept of mutual inductance. Here you can see the concept of mutual inductance. In previous class, in the previous video, we made what is meant by self-inductance and what is meant by mutual inductance. Simply, mutual inductance is the M equal to K formula we derived. M equal to K by L1 square root of L1, L2 or k equal to m by square root of l1 l2 from that you can get mutual index mutual inductance definition is concept is whenever one coil current links with another coil what is the impedance or inductance that value is called mutual inductance mutual inductance after that unit 5 the admittance matrix admittance matrix and the product of delta y delta z we have to calculate Two port networks. What is a two port network? Define decibel and network. This one. What is two port network? This will be another part of unit five. Okay. Next is ten mass questions. We'll see now. 